The International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, is founded in 1906 in London. Its first president is Lord Kelvin, a British mathematician and physicist. Creating the IEC meets a growing need to standardize the electrical machinery proliferating in homes and factories across Europe, North America and Japan. Two important domestic devices invented in 1907 to 1908 are the electric vacuum cleaner invented by American James Murray Spangler and the electric washing machine invented by Alva Fischer. Such devices are commonly plugged into the only power sockets available, electrical light fittings. This means that people generally have to use these labor-saving technologies during daylight hours only. Medical care is another arena in which rapid technological change highlights the need to standardize forms and techniques. Long before sustainability enters the popular lexicon, steam engines and hydroelectric turbines are required to meet the rapidly increasing demand for electrical power. The development of turbines prompts a move to standardize power ratings. The general availability of electrical power facilitates developments in radio, or wireless telegraphy as it was initially known. While the names of Marconi, Brown and De Forest are often most closely associated with radio, so many inventors and companies across the world have participated in its development that it is a truly international technology. Applications of recently discovered forms of radiation bring new concerns to standardize the measurement of hazard. Following the invention of the Geiger counter in the previous decade to measure intensity of radioactivity, in 1915 the Röntgen Society delineates thresholds for safe exposure to X-rays. The first public demonstration of a television system given by the Scottish inventor John Logie Baird takes place in Britain in 1926, and in the following year, Philo T. Farnsworth submits the first American patent. The analytical ultracentrifuge is developed by Theodore Svedberg in work that wins him the Nobel Prize for Chemistry in 1926. This device becomes a crucial tool for determining the details of biological and chemical structures. During this period, R. Rudenberg develops the three-phase bundle conductor for economic long-distance power transmission at voltages up to 380 kilovolts.